Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. Have you ever recorded a video in portrait mode by accident when you really meant to record it in landscape mode? I'll show you how to fix that today. Let's get started. Now if you're like me, you fall into victim of trying to record something here and if you turn the camera and maybe not turn it all the way, the three icons here to tell you that the camera has changed orientation have not changed. So what ends up happening is the video records in portrait mode for the entire duration. Now this can be extremely frustrating, especially when you need to use the video to post somewhere or to show someone. In my example here, you can see the box looks proper. However, I had my camera tilted so that I could show it in landscape mode. So if I scroll through the video here, you can see my hands come in and the whole entire video is in portrait mode, which is really not what I was going for. So there are two ways to switch the orientation of your video. The first and easy way is to just do it on your Android phone. If you have an iPhone, you might be able to do it as well. I'm not sure on the features, so hopefully it has something like this. On the Android phone, all you have to do is go into your video and find where the settings or edit menu is. This is Android 9.0 and the edit menu is the little pencil. So I will click that and you can now see that I have these options. There is an option that looks like a little reload logo beside the three minutes and 24 seconds on the bottom right hand side. All I have to do is click that and it changes the orientation of my video. So if I filmed it upside down, I can keep clicking it and flip the video around to get it to the orientation that I want. Once I am done that, all I have to do is click save. It'll save my video. It takes a bit of time, not very long at all though. And when it's done, all is good. So at this point, I transferred back the videos onto my computer. Here is the original. So I'll open this and this is portrait. You can see right here, I'll exit out of this and I'll open the one that I edited on my phone. And now it's back in landscape. And you can see when my hands come into the frame here, all is well. If for some reason that didn't work or you can't get it to work, there is also another option and that is by using Shotcut. Shotcut is available at shotcut.org. It's a free open source video editor. Shotcut is a very powerful program. Not only can it edit your videos for orientation, you can also add filters, effects, and different things like that. So I have Shotcut open here. Your version of Shotcut might look different than mine. It all depends on what version is available at the time that you view this video. Editing your video is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go into the video that I wanna change, which is my original portrait video. It pulls it up here. The next step is to press this plus button which brings the video into the timeline so I can edit it. From here, I wanna make sure the video is clicked. I'm gonna go over to filters, the plus button, click on the screen here, scroll down to rotate. And that brings up this menu. From rotate, I can enter a number here for the amount of degrees I wanna rotate it. In this case, I need to rotate it 90 degrees. Now you can see by rotating it just 90 degrees, there is an issue of this black box around the video. To fix that, you just have to adjust the scale. So you can increase it just by clicking on the slider here until the video fills the screen perfectly. 178.5 seems just about right. If you would like to do anything else to your video, you can. There are video options here for filters. There are also audio options, so if you wanted to increase the audio or decrease it, you can do that here as well. As I said before, this is a very powerful program, but I'm not gonna get carried away for the purposes of this video, I'm just rotating the angle. Once I've done that, I will go click Export. So here are my settings. Feel free to pause the video if you would like to copy my settings. If you have your own settings or if you know what you're doing here, by all means, do what's good for you. If I click on the codec tab, this tab I can adjust the quality of the video. So right now it's at 60% of the original. I can go all the way back up to 100%, but I will say if I do it this way, it will take time. When you have lossless quality, when you are rendering a video, it does 
take a lot of time and the file size is considerably large. Once that's done, I'm gonna click export file. At this time, I can rename it anything, so I'm just gonna name it export video. After a bit of time, the video will be done and placed in the file that you specified. So you can see it here, export video. The file is 1.66 gigabytes as opposed to the Android one, which is 356 megabytes. So you can see the quicker and more optimal method to use is Android, but if you don't have that option, then you can always use something like Shotcut. And when I open the video here, you can see everything is absolutely fine. The video rendered nicely, it's in the right orientation, there is no black around the border, everything looks good. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.